Hmm. Well, you've been following along, you probably know that I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, but I will make one today. I'm planning a, uh, the video that I made about crossing the event horizon and, uh, you know, black holes being non-singular based on Riddler coordinates. I'm planning to do an adaptation of that using uh, a metric. Uh, I'll, I'll work on that, but I'm gonna, I want to be sure that the math is right. I'm going to do a couple of run-throughs on my own. This is actually an idea that <clears throat> I came across just thinking about uh, black holes, non-singular black holes, uh, earlier today. And I wanted to just put it out there because I thought, well, if that's true, that's pretty interesting. I'm going to imagine, you remember the board, right? A non-singular black hole. We'll say it has a, uh, this will be the bottom of it, so to speak, and there'll be a paths of light which go underneath it and, and, and that, that'll be at the event horizon right there so do you think of this as the event horizon and here's the mass basically frozen in time and I thought to myself now hang on a second this is probably not going to be evenly distributed it's probably going to have places where there's more mass and places where there's less mass as a non-singular black hole this, is, this probably is how it's going to look it's not going to be nice and straight and flat and I thought, that means that the gravity in these particular areas is going to be very, very, very intensely heavy. There's going to be a lot of gravity in areas where the thickness is greater. And I thought, well, what's, what, what's, this, what, what's to stop that from ripping the black hole apart? And I thought, wait a second. This then, these areas where the mass is accumulating that will want to collapse itself. And this area here, this will want to turn into a black hole. As well as this area, this will want to turn into its own black hole. And of course, if Einstein's uh, calculations on, on the formation of non-singular black holes are correct, then that means that this will itself form its own Einstein-Rosen bridge here. And this will form its own Einstein-Rosen bridge here. And that will push outward and expand out around this collection of mass, which will grow more gravitational and collect more mass until it connects physically in three dimensions with the Einstein-Rosen bridge below it, at which point the structure will collapse and it will level off until another place collects more mass and it and it uh, the same process happens again and again and again and again this is a hypothetical but if, if this truly works out then what that means is the surface of a non-singular black hole could actually boil space-time doesn't boil it through temperature it boils it in through time-space distortion so the surface of a non-singular black hole, again, this is hypothetical, but if this model is correct, is actually a bubbling, boiling mass of Einstein-Rosen bridges, wormholes that pop up on the surface and then extinguish themselves out of existence. Um, that's big news for me, because if it's true, that means that there is definitely, positively, something that can separate... Uh, this this model of the black hole with a uh, with a singular model of the black hole. Of course, detecting it is is the big big issue because this is still a black hole. Radiation still cannot emerge from this surface. The only way radiation can emerge from the surface is, of course, through pair production. Like if there's energy here splits off into two particle forms, one goes here and one emerges from the black hole, this will radiate some of the mass on the black hole, and this will escape away into infinity, and thus you can say that the black hole has released radiation. So, actually detecting the boiling, the, the space-time boiling of a black hole, that, that's, a, that's a bit far off for me. This is just an idea that I had this morning, I'm not sure... Um, I, I need to talk to somebody to find calculations for this if it's even possible. But I think it's worth worth mentioning. 
Also, <clears throat> this made me wonder about if there was a black hole that didn't have enough mass to cover the Einstein-Rosen bridge and thus had a hole in the black hole, I wondered if that meant that the black hole might start collapsing. So it would open up, reform, recollapse, form another black hole that again did not have enough mass to cover its Einstein-Rosen bridge mouth and just returned back here. So this idea made me wonder about something that no one has ever really brought up before. This idea, and we're going to call it a variable black hole. If, I'm, if black holes are non-singular, I think that raises the issue of what if the mass is not sufficient to enclose itself. You might, be, you might have to deal with this variable black hole scenario, but that's something that needs to be calculated. It's not something I can just go on hypothesis. But I want to at least put it out there.